Let's see how far I hit this bad boy. Oh, 335. Not too shabby. We'll save that. How's everybody doing today? This is Bill Binder with Binder Stash, and we're here to review Henry McKenna 10 Year. Another Heaven Hill product. Don't ask me why, I like Heaven Hill. But right off the bat, we're looking at Bottle and Bond. Now, Bottle and Bond is it's got to be 100 proof. It's got to be from one distillate season, from one distillery. It's got to be aged no less than four years, and it's got to be aged in a government supervised warehouse. So, another thing you could look at is the bottle and bond seal, it has to be visual. I just broke the seal. This is the government bottle and bond seal. It's gotta be visible. Um, I'm just gonna take a quick swig of this because we just got here running late. Again, I didn't hit any golf balls. It's a bit breezy out here. So, uh, bottoms up. Oh, it's so good. I'm gonna take a rip at this ball. Par three, 160. Hit a nine iron, see where it goes. Not too bad. Plus the fact that this bottle is perfect for a golf cart. Boom! And my glassware for the day. So Henry McKenna 10 year, it's a 10 year, so you're not gonna get that much kick to it, but it's 100 proof, bottled and bond, so you're gonna get a little bit of that alcohol. Definitely in the nose, you're gonna, you're gonna smell it. Uh, right off the bat, you're gonna get caramel and vanilla. Um, you're gonna smell that oak as well. This is just the nose though. We're just, we're just, this is the tip of the iceberg. We're getting into it, we're gonna get into it today. On the part five, we're getting into it. Hey, let's go find that. Okay, so usually I'm swigging this right from the bottle, but this time I brought a glass. And this is a lovely glass by Richter Glass. Why don't you go check them out? He does amazing things. So we're gonna properly taste this. Let's talk about how you smell whiskey, how, how you nose it. Okay, so first thing you're gonna do, you're gonna check that color out. Look at that color. It's nice, it's about what a 10 year should look like. Um, then what you're gonna do is, you can go either way, one or, one or the other, first. If you smell the top of the glass, literally the top of the glass, you're gonna get all the white stuff. You're gonna get some citrus. You, 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 know, you might get some, some orange, some lemon, you know, if, if there's any in there, but when you go to the bottom of the glass, that's when you're getting all that caramel and all that oak. So, lesson number one, how to smell whiskey. Two thirty into the wind. What the hell am I gonna hit? Is it a low runner up there, huh? What do you say? A low three iron, marked out hook runner. Bubble Watson style. He won, right? Yeah, he did. Hey. 
10 years ago that would have hit the green. I guess I'll take that. That was a tough chip. Yeah, I'll take that birdie. I'll take that birdie. Let me tee this ball up real quick, then we'll talk about taste. Now, when you taste a bourbon, or when you taste a whiskey, any type of whiskey, or anything for that matter, what you're gonna do is you're gonna acclimate your palate to it. So you take a very small sip, and coat your tongue with it. Now what that's doing, it's getting your taste buds acclimated to the flavor, number one. Number two, it's also acclimating your palate to the percentage of alcohol. Now, if it's too strong, it's gonna burn. If it's not too strong, then it's perfect. And you can always add water to it. Drops, drop, 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 until there's no burn anymore. That's just telling you that your palate's not ready for that. But being that I drink a lot of whiskey, and I drink very high proof whiskey in abundance, I can handle 100 proof, but everybody's different. Now, you coated your palate, you got it prepared, and now what you're gonna do is you're gonna taste another sip. And when you taste that sip, what you're doing is the same thing, but then what you're gonna do is you're gonna open your nose and your mouth, and you're gonna breathe through your mouth and out through your nose. And then you're really gonna get into what that flavor is burnt brown, sugar, uh, caramel and vanilla again. You're gonna get the oaky tones, but I'm not getting it overly oaky again because it's only 10 years old. Now this is the generic uh, mash bill for Heaven Hill Distillery at 75% corn, 13% rye and 12% malt barley. So this is actually really, really balanced. It's, it's, it's enjoyable, it's an easy drinker. So I'm gonna take another sip and then I'm gonna hit this driver. Swing too hard, which is what I always do. Ah, stuff's so good. But we're gonna go find it, okay? So let's go. Set that bad boy down right there. Sunny skies in Florida, and there's raindrops coming from somewhere. Go in. Go in. Anybody see that? Anybody see that? No, you can't see that. We're gonna go up and we're gonna look at it right now.
Routine. Now the finish. It being a 10 year, it's not gonna be overly oaky and I stress the fact of not gonna be overly oaky because I loathe overly oaky bourbons. Again, I'm not gonna get into the whole age statement uh, infatuation with the world population of whiskey drinkers, but we're gonna get straight to the point. The vanilla, the caramel, it's, it's abundant. It's, 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 it's apparent, it's gonna happen. Uh, it's not going anywhere. Uh, it's very balanced at 100 proof. It's gonna be very, very good. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tell you now why I paired it with this Padron 90. This is a dark cigar. This is rich and bold and beautiful. This cigar right here. We don't smoke Padrones because I don't like box presses, but this is not a box press. This is round. Um, I don't know, I'm weird that way. Uh, but I like to complement light, easy, uh, evenly balanced bourbon with a rich flavor. Now, if I was drinking something super high proof, like over 120, 130 proof, I wouldn't be smoking this bold, spicy cigar here. I'd be smoking something light to medium body. Um, but again, that's just how I am. This is my opinion. Now, it might be irrelevant to you because you might be tasting something totally different or this might be overpowering and you might want to pair it with a different one, but this is merely my opinion and uh, I hope you take it. I hope you listen to me. I hope we drink more and smoke more. So good. From us here at Bender Stash, this is Bill Bender. Remember, always enjoy what you drink and stuff.